This is David with Advanced Compliance, and we are going out in the field. This is David with Advanced Compliance. We're out in the field doing acceptance testing at a small restaurant. There should be a automatic time switch installed with a two hour override. Let's go check out the job. The lights are off. I'm gonna check out the time switch and see uh, if it's been programmed. We're walking to this area where the restroom is. Let's see if they put an aux sensor in this restroom. Bam. All right, so they installed the occupancy sensor in the single stall restroom. That meets code. Let's make our way in to where the automatic time switch would be located. There's less than 120 watts in the daylit zones, so a photo sensor is not mandatory. Here are a bank of light switches. It's tough to see. You can see some the, how they're illuminated, the little green lights. Those are some light switches there. Well, this video is poor. Let me see if we can get some light on. All right. Much a little better. Now let's go check out the timer. Okay, we're back located the time switch and the two hour override by the service entrance. So this rear door is the service entrance to this uh, restaurant. And if the um, workers or if anybody comes in a little earlier than what the time switch is programmed for, they could hit this two hour override and it'll kick the lights on for additional two hours. Let's take a look at the program settings. All right, this is, I'm getting in here, I'm helping program the timer for the electrician. Um, I decided to show you this one screen if we should adjust for daylight savings. So we're gonna say, yes, we are going to make, and then it's gonna ask us our time zone. Oh my goodness. We're at Pacific, bam. Now we're gonna program the events. This, these will be the on and off times for the restaurant. I'm gonna go cycle through these real quick, program the events, and make sure the two hour override is working correctly. All right, we programmed in the on and off times, and I would like to show you a, a good practice here. It says, would you like to review the program schedule? Yes, we would. So let's hit, her, let's hit the enter button. Oh, let's go with circuit one, time and date. And if you notice the event one, the 6 a.m. on time, that's correct. Event two, the 11.30 p.m., it says on, that should be an off schedule. So we're going to scroll down here with these buttons. And right here, we could change the event type. Event type, on event, nope, we want it to be an off event. Off event. Enter the off event. Right on. Let's escape out of this. Now we have our on and our off time set. Let 
let's go ahead and review the program again for circuit one. On and off time, perfect. Now, there you go. We don't need to review it. Our setup is complete. Okay, here we are, our time switch at the main screen. The home screen gives the correct time and day. Let's turn this off. Now we just turned the lighting circuit off. We're panning over in the dark for a good video here. And we're gonna turn on the two hour override. Bam, there we go. So we have the override set. I bypass the timer and everything's working fine. Now we it's 7:22 a.m. The on time was 6 a.m. or 6:30 a.m. So we are currently in the on event. So I'm gonna have to hit this button right here to turn the timer back on. Otherwise, when the time uh, the override times out, the lights are gonna turn off. So let's turn this back on into the on event. So here we go. Now when the time, automatic time uh, switch override times out, the lights will remain on.